okay, we have a uh, Apollo Combraco Industries three quarter inch PVB4A. Just wanted to kind of share with you guys. This is the box they came in, and that's what it looks like. Pressure vacuum breaker, three quarter inch. Okay. Here it is. I have already taken out of the box. Just wanted to uh, share with you a few things on this. So on the this supposedly is advertised as built-in freeze resistance. That's the word. Let me go back to this one. As a number one built in freeze resistance and has a stainless steel handle and nuts. And then it says accessible test cocks for easy draining. No special tools required for access and repair, uh, which is true on this version. The Fabco, you'll need an um, adjustable wrench to move the protected ring. Uh, the, uh, that's made out of brass on the Fabco. However, on the this uh, version of the Apollo, it's uh, um, made out of plastic, and you just need a Phillips screwdriver to loosen both of these to take that off. Okay, let's go ahead and do that first. So I'll get a Phillips. And then loosen that up a little bit. Oh, you're gonna have a right size Phillips, I guess. Can't be too skinny. So it looks like I will be needing number two. Well, let's see. Go ahead and loosen that up. And then Take it off like that. Okay, and then you can unscrew this like this, counterclockwise. And here you go. That's the top portion of it. And there's an O ring here, put thick, so you gotta make sure it's on there, don't lose them. And this is the bottom piece that comes up. I forget if it's, it's called a bonnet or a poppet. I think it's called a poppet. And then there's another bottom piece there. That's a spring loader. And I don't think it's going to come out of there. Oh, it does come out. Like that. Oh, it's the basket. And then the bottom piece is still there. Okay. So when you just get the, the replacement parts, because usually when there's a freeze happening, this uh, bonnet and pop it is going to be the only thing that's going to freeze and pop out of there. And rest of the body, shutoff valves, relief valves, will be all intact. So there is the piece that goes in first. And that one next. And this one, there's a recessed area there with the spring. That one goes next. And then you screw it in clockwise. And then put this back on, the protective cover, and, and then tighten it up. Okay, that's it for the polo. Another way you can do it is, is by holding onto this and gently counterclockwise unthread it. And this piece gets stuck there and you can go ahead and work on that one for the but usually this thing's broken already so alrighty and then to install just go like that and tighten it up and you're ready to go